Hello, folks. After about nearly two hours of haze, I'm getting started, and I'm going after the western bale, since I already did the eastern bale, and I kind of like that reddish blue that it came out when you only use oxygen and HA, so I'm going to try that again. And um, this is how it looks for a single raw image. Uh, I was hesitant on doing this one because bright stars tend to leave halos. And right now that doesn't look too bad. I was worried about that star. I think it's over, I think it's about a magnitude of five. That, that might be the cutoff where I don't have to worry about halos. So yeah, that's what it looks like so far. I'll be back. Well, here's how my guiding is looking. 0 0.75, 0 0.76. Oh, that's not too bad. It was like that the night before as well. So I can live with that. Um, good enough for me. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I, I saved a couple of charts from my autofocusing, <clears throat> just in case there's um, some people with uh, knowledge regarding autofocusing that are watching this video. Uh, this is what the, the graphs look like, and they said I should be looking for that V shape, and hopefully um, that's the shape, the V shape that I'm looking for. And it seemed like my focus was pretty good. I even compared it to a Batonoff mask after it auto-focused, and it seemed the closer the V, the better the Batonoff mask is. Uh, so anyway, now I have to decide is how often do I want to use auto-focusing because right now that Moonlight Focuser seems to hold up really well from frame to frame. The focus doesn't seem to shift at all. So I don't know if I want to do a refocus after 30 minutes, after 60 minutes, or only after filter changes. Because um, if the focus is good, I why should I refocus? You know, and, and risk losing focus. You never know. Um, so I'll, I'll have to decide. Right now, I'm really liking that Moonlight Focuser because uh, other than just holding focus really well, I, I, I was having drift issues before. And, and I have no drift at all right now. So I, I guess my old focuser was causing so much flexure, my, my stars were drifting from frame to frame. So, okay, liking what I see so far. Hey folks, it's the next morning and this is what I captured. Two hours of oxygen and two hours of HA and this is what they look like after I did an ABE on each one. And I'm always wondering, by the way, what filter should I use on a particular object? Should I use RGB? Should I use HA and oxygen or HA, oxygen, and sulfur? Uh, there, there seems like there's so many combinations. And, and, and is, is there a right and wrong way? I don't know. Um, I guess it comes down to whatever you like best. Uh, I, I guess that's the important thing. And if, if someone else doesn't like what you did, you know, that's okay. They have a right not to like it. As, as long as you like what you did, that, that's the important thing. And that's what I go by. I think something's cool. Hey, I'm doing what I want to do. And uh, last night was interesting too, because now I automatically found my target with plate solving. I did an automatic meridian flip, automatically switches filters, automatic focus. I am almost completely out of the loop. I mean, all I'm really doing now is polar alignment, and I'm not going to be able to, to automate that, or at least skip that part until I have a permanent peer and observatory, and that's not going to be happening anytime soon, at least not in my current location. So anyway, uh, so this is uh, the data I captured, and, and this is the final image after some processing. Now, I don't do a lot of processing, but I, I like how this came out. I mean, I'm still not doing um, deconvolution. I know I should be doing that. That's an important step that the, the pros all seem to use. So it's just, you know, laziness on my part that I'm not doing more in post-processing. But right now, I kind of like how this came out. This is a really cool target. And I like the colors of just doing HA and oxygen. I put HA in red and I put oxygen in green and blue. So that's what I got, and I'm always wondering, should I make the, the dark, the, the background darker, the, the, the nebula brighter? You know, you, I grapple with, you, you got to find that balance. You don't want something to look 
too fake. You want to keep it looking natural. So I'll probably be working on this more later. But that's what I've got for now. Now I wanted to mention one more thing. The um, founder of ZWO Astronomy Cameras, Sam Wen, sent me a nice personal message. He said he liked my videos and he shared a couple of my videos on the ZWO page in Facebook. So that was kind of cool to hear. You, <clears throat> you know, maybe I'm doing something right if the uh, the founder of the camera that I use actually sends me a personal note. So that's pretty cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That's all I got. I'll see you later.